Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're doing super well today. Um, I just wanted to come to you uh, with a video that's non-real estate related. I try to keep all the content uh, on this channel and all my other channels related around how to help you sell real estate, become a better real estate agent, become a better human being, learn how to communicate better, um, you know, work harder, um, do the things that you need to do to succeed, to provide the best life for you and your family. Okay, but today I want to get a little personal, um, actually really personal, um, something I don't talk about a whole lot. I have mentioned it a couple times uh, here and there. Uh, I made one video about it a long time ago, um, and I've, I've done several posts about, uh, you know, my battle with drugs and alcohol that I had at one point in my life. Uh, today's podcast, okay, if you guys are listening to the podcast, you, you can go listen to today's episode where I get into a lot of the, the more details, you know, uh, and, and more of the story behind my struggles, what I went through, and how I overcame those struggles. But I wanted to make today's video um, not about how many views I get, how many likes I get, uh, so on and so forth. I just wanted to maybe share just a little piece of my story and hopefully if you're going through some kind of struggle, um, you know, regardless of what kind of struggle it is, hopefully uh, this can help you in some kind of way. And I will say this is a, this is a pretty, I don't know how to, how to, there's not really a word for it. Okay. This is, this is, uh, this is definitely a moment in time for me that I don't really know how to describe it. There's not really a word for it. Um, but here you go. My grandmother is literally taking her last breaths right now. For those of you who've been following me for a long time, for maybe the past four years, uh, me and my wife, Carlin have taken her dinner every Wednesday um, spent time with her amongst many other things uh, that we've done to help her try to be comfortable you know I thought she lived a lot longer than this tell you the truth um, but you know when it's your time it's your time she lived a great life she's going out the way that she wants to surrounded by family um, in the comfort of her own home she opted out from going to the hospital and she doesn't have COVID, you know, so all those things are incredibly positive. She lived a great life. She had six children, um, you know, and has an incredible legacy with her grandchildren, which I'm one of them, and great-grandchildren, um, you know, so incredible life there. At the same time, my daughter is almost nine months old, so we're experiencing life and death like we're at the end of my grandmother's life and the beginning of my daughter's life. So it really makes you sit back and reflect about a lot of things, um, you know, and, and as far as my journey goes. Uh, so anyway, I hope this helps you guys a lot. I, uh, I could tell you story after story after story um, of uh, so many crazy things in terms of, uh, you know, my partying days and, you know, everything that went down. And I'm really lucky to be alive, extremely lucky to be not have gotten into a car wreck and died, not to have overdosed. Um, so many different stories. Um, you know, I remember one time I stayed up all night long uh, doing cocaine and uh, stayed up all night long and then ran a 5K, won the 5K. I literally won a 5K after staying up all night long on cocaine. Um, stuff like that, just crazy stories you guys you guys don't even know me you know back in the day partying the stuff that I used to do you know and that's just kind of part of who I am part of my history part of you know growing as a person going through all those struggles and uh, it makes you who you are and I'm proud of who I am if I had it all to take back again I don't I don't believe I would you know I could sit here and tell you I wish I never did any drugs and alcohol absolutely um, you know, I believe that down to my core. However, you know, that was the course that I was given and, uh, you know, I'm not ashamed of it at all. That's why I'm able to talk about it freely with you. And, uh, if you or anyone, you know, ever needs to talk about this, um, I'm more than willing to, to share, to listen, to talk. So, 
Um, feel free to reach out anytime. And, uh, but anyway, if you guys are going through some kind of struggle, I'm just here to tell you that you can overcome it. Um, you know, you, you can move past it. You can live a better life. You can, you know, close that chapter and open up a new chapter in your life. And, you know, um, there is hope. So keep pushing, keep trying, you know, just a little bit better every day, just 1% better every single day. The year that I quit was uh, April Fool's Day, 2014. I almost died the night before, and I said if I ever, if I did wake up the next day, I would never do anything ever again, never take another sip, never do another drug, nothing. And I've held true to that. Um, that was the first year that I sold 100 properties, the year that I quit. And I've sold 100 properties every year since. And if it wasn't for me quitting drugs and alcohol, I would not have made a YouTube channel. I would not have you know, been a public speaker. I would not have written books. I, I wouldn't have been able to. I would have been too gone, you know? So I'm super grateful for the experience and um, everything I went through to bring me to the point of quitting. I just thank God that I didn't, <laughs> I didn't die through that process. Um, but it's made me who I am, and I'm proud of who I am. And I hope you are too, regardless of where you are in your life. And if anything, I hope I can be that that shining star, that that north star to kind of lead you, um, lead you in the right direction. So if there's anything I can do to help you, please, please reach out. And I uh, just want to say I love you guys so much. And go listen to the podcast if you want to hear more about, you know, the story of what I went through. And uh, as always, um, reach out anytime. If there's anything in the world I can do for you guys. Much love. Need a life for the ideas. I'm in the splash zone with the brain waves. I shoot for stars.